To support our business units, IT can now support the deployment of DocuSign for SharePoint to your hub community. Once deployed, you'll be able to easily forward documents for electronic signature to external users from any of your SharePoint document libraries. To do this, you will need to purchase a license for your business users from DocuSign and place a service desk request for deployment of the DocuSign application to your community site. Once this is completed, forwarding a document for signature is extremely simple. Browse to the document library that contains the document you want signed and click the radio selection button next to the document. You can even select multiple documents for signature at once. In the ribbon menu at the top of the library, select DocuSign to access the DocuSign functions. To send a document for signature, select Get Signatures. The DocuSign application will then open and your documents will be ready to process. The first step is to add recipients or people that you wish to sign your document. Add the name and email address of your recipient in the name and email field. Next, you can personalise the message that is sent with your document if desired. The advanced options can also be modified including the ability to send automatic reminders if you wish. Click the Next button to identify where you want your recipient to sign the document and the documents that you uploaded will open in the browser with standard fields that you can add to the document in the left hand window. Work your way through the document and add the fields you wish the user to complete such as initials, signatures, names and dates. Many of these details are automated for the user to make it easy for them to sign your document. When you've finished indicating where you wish the recipient to sign, simply click Send. Your signature request will then be sent to the user by email. Users can easily sign the document using their PC or mobile device. They can view and make comments on the documents and complete the signatures and details that you requested from them. When the document has been signed, it will be returned to you via email as a PDF file including the signatures that were added. The document will also be saved back to the same SharePoint library that contained the original document. There are also additional tools contained within the DocuSign enabled library. You can go directly to DocuSign on the web, sign a document, use a template you have created in DocuSign or check the approval status of one of your signature requests. For further information on this environment enhancement, please contact the IT department.